Khloe Kardashian seems to be happily single at the moment while raising her daughter True Thompson. On top of being a mom, she's also an influencer, entrepreneur, and of course, a star on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. At the time of this video, she's 35 years old and has 99.1 million followers on her Instagram. So like I said, Khloe claims she's single at the moment. She recently confirmed she hasn't jumped back into dating and said, I don't care to date right now. I'm not in a rush for it. I feel so good in my life and I don't really need much else. We also know that her ex and baby daddy Tristan Thompson has been trying to win her back. But the man was a cheater so I don't think she would give in that easily. Chloe said while talking to Scott Disick that Tristan gave her a pink diamond ring which looked an awful lot like an engagement ring, but Chloe assures that it wasn't. Her fam is a little concerned about Chloe falling for him again if they continue to hang out, but Chloe says that it's just because it makes their daughter happy. Happy. Tristan really has been doing the most aside from that giant ring though, even commenting on her IG photos trying to get her attention. Like here when she said she was a beautiful diamond. How precious. I guess we'll have to see what happens. But before Chloe would be enjoying her time as a single mom and before her on and off again relationship with Tristan, she had a handful of other relationships. I'll be talking about Chloe and Tristan again a little later on too, but today we're going to tell you about all of Chloe's ex lovers here for you on Famous Entertainment. What's going on guys? I'm Kara and today we're bringing you another exes list. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you can always be up to date. Today we'll be focusing on Khloe Kardashian's previous relationships and guys she's been linked to. If you guys like this idea and want to know the relationship histories of other celebs, let me know in the comments down below. We also did one on the Ace families Austin and Catherine and Tana Mojo and Jake Paul which we'll link after. Now let's get into this video. Back in late 2008 to early 2009, Khloe would date a basketball player named Rashad McCants. Not sure if you've heard the story but post breakup he totally blamed Khloe for his failed basketball career. He didn't really have any evidence to back up these claims, but he told the Charlotte Observer, Without that situation in play, I'm a 60 to 70 million dollar player easily. He also said in the interview that the highly public romance made others question how serious he was about an NBA career. Rashad got 17.6 points per game during a three year college basketball career at North Carolina, but didn't seem to get as far in the NBA after getting picked 14th overall in 2005. The only thing that may defend Rashad's claims about Chloe is that she made it seem like Rashad cheated on her in an episode of Chloe and Courtney Take Miami in 2009. He stated that the whole scene was fake and the pair had already split at that point. But in my opinion, he's just looking for someone to blame. Next. This next dude I'm not sure if Chloe seriously dated, but she was definitely linked to him. Chloe was rumored to be dating another athlete, this time an NFL football player, Derek Ward. They were spotted together around 2008 or 2009, but nothing ever blossomed into a serious romance it seems. Derek was drafted by the New York Jets back in the 2004 NFL Draft and also played for the New York Giants, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Houston Texans. Apparently last year in 2018, Derek's wife Naomi actually filed a restraining order against him for verbal and physical abuse. Reports said he'd been having violent outbursts throughout their 9 year relationship. I guess he met his wife right after his fling with Chloe or something. Either way, from the sounds of it, Chloe dodged a bullet if she was ever dating him. Most of you are likely familiar with Terrence J or Terrence Jenkins who's an actor and reporter best known for hosting BT's 106 in Park. Chloe actually co-hosted with him on Chloe's After Dark and the two shared a kiss on Courtney and Chloe Take Miami which was back in 2009. They never dated though and apparently the kiss was just a result of a long night and some drinks. Terrence said back then about it, We are just friends, neither one of us remembers the kiss. He also added that he was happily in a relationship at the time. Well I don't think his girl would have been too pleased about his hookup with Chloe, but who knows. So moving on to one of the more memorable Chloe relationships, her ex-husband Lamar Odom. The two were married from 2009 to 2013. To match Chloe's type, of course Lamar was an athlete. He was an NBA basketball player who most notably played for the LA Lakers and won championships in 2009 and 2010. Chloe and Lamar dated for only a month before getting married in September 09, and of course their wedding was featured on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. You know, I love my family um, with, with all my heart, but that's how I knew she was the one because no one could tell me, no, I wasn't getting married to Chloe. It would have been real easy for me to say, you know, 
All right, don't ever call me again. Lamar became a regular on the show after this, of course, and the couple even had their own spin off called Chloe and Lamar, where his children from his previous marriage were also included. Their show only lasted two seasons, though. Unfortunately, Lamar had some struggles of his own, and his marriage with Chloe didn't have a happy ending. His issues were highly publicized, and in 2013, he got a DUI, and there was also word that he was abusing drugs. Lamar accepted three years of probation and three months of alcohol abuse treatment, and shortly after, after all this, the couple was separated and filed for divorce. This wasn't the end of Chloe's marriage yet though, and things got worse for Lamar before they could get better. He was found unconscious at the Love Ranch in October 2015, which in case you didn't know, was a legal brothel in Nevada, and obviously means he was up to no good. After a drug overdose, he suffered from several heart attacks, strokes, and kidney failure, and was put on life support in a coma. Chloe withdrew her divorce request at the time in order to be there for him, and although the two didn't make up, she wanted to help him during his recovery. Of course, this drama with Lamar was all over the news and there were also claims that at the brothel, one of his requests was for a transgender Madison Montag, who worked there. Clearly, that shocked people. At the end of all this, Lamar recovered, but him and Chloe had their divorce finalized in 2016, which I don't think was a big surprise. When Chloe initially separated from Lamar in 2013 and first introduced divorce papers, people were speculating that she was seeing Matt Kemp, a baseball player on the LA Dodgers. There were photos of Chloe and Matt working out at the same gym on the day Chloe filed the papers. Matt also posted a photo on Instagram of the Christmas tree at the Jenner's home and wrote, Best time of the year, it's gonna be a Cali Christmas this year. People Magazine said the two went to a few concerts together in December like Drake and John Legend, but Chloe and Matt were proven to be just friends as far as we know. Sources at the time said that Chloe wasn't ready to date, it was way too soon, and the two have been friends for a long time. Around 2013 and early 2014, Chloe was spotted all over LA hanging out with rapper The Game. Let's not forget he rapped about hooking up with three Kardashians in one of his songs, and he was called out on the Wendy Williams show. Did you do Chloe? And I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna ask you again, because no matter what you say, I think that you hit it at least once. Yeah, sometimes it gets late at night, and you know, it just, people, I don't know, go ahead. Despite the hangouts while Chloe was separated from Lamar, her and the game were never a couple. The game said, Chloe's just a really good friend. Before you guys knew her as Chloe Kardashian, she was just like the tomboy Kardashian. She was cool. She would come hang out with us and chill. It was never about that. Chloe also admitted they've been friends for a long time. She said when she was younger and moved out and was rebelling against her mom, she lived in a house full of dudes at one point. Chloe said, One of my roommates from that time was the game. I've known him since I was 14 and we're friends. But next, Chloe actually did date a famous rapper, none other than French Montana, which I'm sure you guys all remember. This was in 2014 and the two were together on and off for just under a year. Although some speculated that French was simply her rebound, apparently they had a great relationship and stayed friends even after breaking up. He opened up recently saying he's still close with the family too and said looking back, I feel like we had a real dope relationship. There was no bad blood, nobody did something to some that we couldn't come back from. The love was real. When the love was like that, it's always gonna be like that. Even recently, there were rumors that Chloe might be getting back together with him because they were seen hanging out at her sister Courtney's 40th birthday. But there's no proof that anything romantic is going on between the two at the moment. French commented an emoji on a photo of the sisters that got people talking, but I really don't think that means anything. After French Montana, Chloe went back to her love for athletes, it seems. She next dated NBA player James Harden from 2015 to 2016. James plays for the Houston Rockets and is a seven-time NBA All-Star, among other accomplishments. He actually told Sports Illustrated after him and Chloe broke up that the year he dated her was the worst year of his life and said he didn't like all the attention. Although he didn't name any names, it's clear he was talking about Chloe. He said a trip to Miami during basketball season was the last straw because he was harassed by paparazzi the moment he landed and it was distracting to his game. James spoke about the publicity while dating Chloe, saying, I feel like it was for no reason. I wasn't getting anything out of it except my name out there and my face out there, and I don't need that. It wasn't uncomfortable, but it wasn't me. 
Safe to say, Chloe and James didn't last, and this was her last known relationship before getting with Tristan. Finally, Chloe found Tristan Thompson, another basketball player, no surprise. Tristan is quite a few years younger than Chloe, being 28 at the time of this recording. He's Canadian born but plays for the NBA with the Cleveland Cavaliers at the moment. Chloe and Tristan started dating in July 2016. They also welcomed their daughter True Thompson in April 2018. Things seem pretty happy, and Chloe even spent time away from her LA lifestyle living in Cleveland with him. But before their baby was even born, things started to come crashing down. Just days before Chloe was set to have the baby, Tristan was spotted chatting up a girl in a bar in Manhattan, and another video showed the same girl entering a hotel with him at 5 a.m., obviously implying he was cheating. A source exposed that Tristan was consistently cheating on Chloe. Yikes. They still tried to make it work after all these rumors. It wasn't until this year that things actually ended between the two, because they even rang in the new year together, posting videos kissing. So it seemed like Chloe wanted to stay together. As I'm sure you all know, the last straw was Tristan cheating on Chloe with her younger sister Kylie's best friend at the time, Jordan Woods who was really close to the family. Obviously, this was wrong on so many different levels, and I don't think you can come back from that. The fam understandably cut Jordan off, and Chloe ended things with Tristan. So considering this scandal was confirmed to be true, I don't think that Chloe and Tristan would get back together so easily. It appears like he's trying, and yes, he recently bought her a fancy ring, but that situation was just messed up. And you know what they say, once a cheater, always a cheater. I guess we'll just have to see what the future holds for Chloe, and if she'll be able to resist Tristan attempting to win her back or whatever he's doing. Now, of course, I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Did you know about all of Chloe's exes? Were there any that surprised you? And do you think she's thinking about getting back to Tristan despite all the nastiness he pulled? If you like these videos, let me know whose list of exes you'd like to see. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!